Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been on night shift for about two and a half years. Uh, we start at 6.30 at night to 7 in the morning. We're on the 3, 12 and a half hour shift uh, program, so I get four days off a week. I work three. Uh, I like working nights because it's uh, obviously cooler. Out here in Palm Springs, it gets kind of hot. And uh, a lot of the guys that work nights are really proactive, and uh, we like going out and having a good time working together. A lot of camaraderie between uh, the graveyard shift. So I uh, really enjoy working with uh, my team. Looks like we got a vehicle passing me right now with uh, no headlights. Catch up to it. It's in the uh, number one lane now. It's uh, swerving into the opposite lanes of traffic, so we're going to try to catch up to it. We'll stop it. Possibly might be DUI. Okay, this guy's uh, finally turned his lights on, but he was driving. Uh... Copy that. 19. 19. Me traffic. Uh, looks like he's deuce. Going for a suit in the uh, dream home. Stand by for a plate. John Union 788. Uh, it looks like we're going eastbound mission. White male, or correction, Hispanic male, shave head. Eastbound mission passing Lakeview. Hey, we're still on mission, uh, wrapping around the circle. Copy on mission, going around the circle. Okay, slowing down, stand by, my foot bell. Copy that, on the Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Shut the car off! Put your hands up! Keep your hands right there! Keep your hands up right there! Keep them right there, I'm gonna pull them out. We got another person here? Put your car in park. Karen, I'm gonna rip them out. Keep your hands up in the air. Do you understand me? I'm gonna rip them out, okay? Stay right there, partner. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get down. Get down. Okay. Grab his arm, grab his arm. Okay. Nineteen one in custody. Negative. Here. What are you running for? I gotta live right here. Yeah. You live right here? Yeah. Pero señor. You guys stay in the house. Stay in the house. I know. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we know too. I gotta drink. Como se llama? Jose. Jose? Yeah. We're on mission, right? Okay. I already gave out the address. Señor, ¿tiene una licencia para manejar? No. ¿Nunca? Nunca. El car is my friend. ¿Por qué tú quieres salir, señor? I go to the police. Yeah, but you don't have the right to drive because you don't have a driver's license. And, you, yeah. and you're intoxicated. You've drank too much. Yeah, I got to eat. Almost hit her. I knew he was deuce. No? no. Where'd you find him at? Coming out of 7 Eleven, blacked out. Oh, really? Can you stand up? Okay. Sit like this. Sit up. Sit on your butt. No puedo, no puedo, no puedo, dude. Sit on your butt. Siéntate, señor, por favor. Put your legs in front of you. One, two, three. Put your, come on. Use your legs. 
One, two, three. Three. <laughs> yeah. Walk to my car. Okay. Uh, you speak Spanish? No, I speak Spanish. You speak a little English? You speak a little English. I heard you talking to me. A little bit. Why'd you go? Why'd you run? Uh, why you go and leave right here? Because you wanted to get home? No, I got out here right now. Yeah? Señor, él pregunta por qué corre. Por qué no alto. Yo quisiera, yo quisiera explicarle en español, señorita. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué, okay. ¿Por qué no alto, señor? Si me dijera él, si me soltara, yo lo explicara a él. Entonces, en inglés, ¿por qué? Yo preguntar tú, señor. Take a seat in the car. Okay. Okay. Take a seat. ¿Por qué tú no alto? Siéntese en el carro, por favor. Okay. He's telling us that uh, he didn't want to, he doesn't want to speak in English, he wants to speak in Spanish. So I, I told him to Lean answer back. my questions oh. in, in, sp in, uh, in Spanish because I was speaking Spanish to him. He said he wanted to, to talk to Officer Greeno. However, Officer Greeno doesn't speak Spanish. So um, he told me that he does not have a driver's license and that the reason that he ran was because he was intoxicated and he probably didn't want to go to jail, I would imagine. So. You guys obviously had too much to drink and he needs to go to jail for a DUI and evading. So he's going to jail for two misdemeanor charges at this time. I've worked construction work. I've played guitar in rock and roll bands, I've been a lead singer. And then I found police work and this is it. It became very, very clear to me that this is where I needed to be. This is my niche. And uh, police work, there's nothing like it. 11 Kilo 12, 11 Charlie 8 in the area. We're on our way up here uh, to back up a detective on a warrant. He's got a subject that has some possible warrants, and uh, we're going to back him up. He also wants to talk to this guy on uh, about some burglaries that have occurred in the area, so. Are you inside or outside of 1021 Northeast? So we're on the west side of the uh, building. 11 Charlie 8, west side of building. 1026. 1728. You can disregard that either, thank you. No problem. We show up here, okay? Talk yeah. to him. He's digging a hole. Digging a hole? Look what he's digging. What are you digging a hole for? For gold. He's doing, he's doing some digging. Digging okay. for gold? Yeah. What's your name? William. William. From North Gardens, you got pops. What's going on? What are you doing, man? Not. Huh? Not. Just your bag. Don't don't lie to me. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, it's my bag. It's your bag. Yeah. Why are you burying it? Why huh? shouldn't I? Well, why should you? Why shouldn't I? Why should you? Oh no. Why should you? What are, you, what, are you hiding it from somebody or what? Why wouldn't I hide it? Why would you? I don't know. See, straight up people don't have to hide stuff. Why, so you can come in my mother's house and wreck everything? I'm straight with that. Yeah? OK. Hey. You can cuff him up. Yeah. Stand up, Billy. Turn around. See, you never know. Where I'm gonna pop up, Billy. I know you. I could be in North <laughs> Gardens. I knew you were coming. All right. That's One thing. Good. Turn around. Sit down. Sit down. We're confirmed. For one thing, we're confirming a warrant for your arrest. Mm -hmm. Okay. We caught you at such a good time. It's amazing. What do you got there, Frank? Our anxiety you got some pills. pills. You got some powder in there? Anxiety of pills. Yeah, it looks like some rock. Looks yeah. like some rock and some pills. Damn, you got a little bong there. He's got a, he's got a scale. That's a pretty bong, Billy. 11, 10. 
I'll take the blame for all of it. That's all my right. Billy, how long I've been knowing you? You know me since I was a kid. Since, since you, you were a little me. kid, man. And that's all mine right there. All right. No, I don't smoke weed, but that's mine. You don't smoke weed? Yeah. Then well, you must be dealing it then. No. And you don't do pills? Yes, for my anxiety attacks, just like I told them. Anxiety attacks? Yes. OK. You can open the thing. There ain't no cracker like that in there. You should know that, Pop. What are those? Uh, Zanny nice bars. Guy. Yep. Well, Thank you. Of these are bars of Zanny. Uh, these are like a tranquilizer, and uh, they just mellow you out real good. Even if you had a, even if you had a prescription for these, carrying around in his bottle like this is illegal. Okay. Bill, so you can say what you want, Bill. Why are you burying them? If you need them for your anxiety. Just like I told him, so you can come in my mother's house and wreck it. And then we wouldn't find it, right? That's a nice scale. That's a pretty solid little brick of pot there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Can I make my phone call now or wait till the station? Hey, you know how it works, buddy. You got to wait till you're booked. Once you're booked, then you can make your phone calls. Come on, Billy. Stand up, buddy. I know the routine. You know the routine. Can you loosen them, or is that too much to ask? Those are, those are plenty loose. I can stick my finger in there. Let's go this way. Can you mind locking my door? Let's go this way. We'll take care of locking up your door. I don't want you to fall over any of that stuff over there. Falling over nothing. You're right, because I ain't going to let you. I'm going to take good care of you, Billy. Yeah, I bet you will. Can I see you lock my door right now? OK. Let's go, Pop. Long time no see. I'm disappointed, man. Yeah? I am disappointed. This way. I ain't selling. You ain't selling? Nope. Who said anything about selling? Oh, yeah. Well, this is Kuz's car. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a cage in my car right now. Well, you think I'm going to jump out of something? Nope. Go on. About 20, 30, yeah, over 20. Yeah, he's, he's well over 20 grams on this on this bag of pot. That's a real dense, solid brick. Yeah. If you get a search warrant, I'm, I'm sure you'll find more in the house. I'm sure you'll find more. Did you field test it yet? No, no we'll do that when we get back to the station. All right. Nice little scale. It's the nicest scale I've ever seen. It. Yeah, digital. I've never seen a scale that nice. Uh, we came over here to back up these detectives over here on this guy, and we got pretty lucky. They got pretty lucky. He was digging up this hole right here, uh, and had a bunch of uh, a bunch of pills, a bunch of Xanax bars, and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of marijuana. And they caught him right in the act. So they got pretty lucky, and they wanted to talk to him about some burglaries. Good pop. All right, guys. Today we're going to do a buy bust. It's going to be pretty much citywide. We're going to have three takedown vehicles. Uh, detective will be our undercover today. Everybody take a look at how he's dressed. We've dealt with uh, some of these people prior to today, so all of them have uh, charges against them. So if the deal does not go, we will still arrest them for sales of illegal narcotics. Does uh, anybody have any questions about the assignments? OK. As always, be careful. Let's suit it, strap it up, and let's go. Well, I'm assigned to the tactical narcotics team. Our main focus is uh, street level drug sales. Um, we try to focus on the guys that are out here on the corner selling the drugs. Usually when the complaints come in, they're not complaining about the people that are delivering the drugs to the city. It's these guys that are standing out on the corner, you know, in plain view, selling drugs in the neighborhoods and around the stores. So um, we handle all the street level complaints at our level. All right, I, I see him right here on the corner, Sarge, right where the school bus is on my left. I believe this is him, white t-shirt, long blue jean shorts. Come on up, Sarge. He's got a white jersey, blue jean pants. Hey, dog. I pulled up. Hey, what's up, dog? Here, count this up, bro. Right. Let me see what you got. That's like good, though. Yeah, that's like good stuff. Count it up, man. That's good there. You said 100, yeah, that's, man. 
Hey, hold on. How much you got there? That's good. That's good stuff. How much you got there? You owe me $5. $5? Oh, they're going to bite. Hey, hey, hey. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Don't move, all right? Don't do anything stupid, all right? Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Don't move. Don't run. Get out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. You have the following rights under the United States Constitution. You have the right to remain silent. Anything said can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to an attorney before we ask you any questions. You understand the rights I just read you? All right. How about these guys behind you? This is what he sold me. He had it bare. I just put it, put it in my hand. I just put it uh, in this baggie. Okay. Uh, he dropped this off, and I gave him my short change. My game made five dollars. Just stalled him a little bit. Right. Good he stuff. He counted it, and he said, "Man, you said it was a hundred. And he threw it on the ground when he saw the uh, truck. Okay. So we shortchanged him on that. Uh, All right, this is the guy you've been buying yeah, from? Yeah, I've got uh, three other sell charges on him. Okay. So, uh, the other people in the back were telling him, hey, that's Vice, that's Vice. But he didn't, he didn't want to hear it. He got in the truck with me anyway. It's, so. it's amazing what greed will do, isn't it? You got any other drugs on you? No, sir. Uh, you ever been arrested before? Yeah, I haven't been arrested. What you been arrested for? Oh, okay. I ain't never been arrested for this. Okay, it's the first time you ever sold drugs? Mm -hmm. About this year. This guy you're dealing with, he's an undercover detective, all right? So uh, we're gonna uh, write up an arrest docket, put your name on it, and book you into Duval County Jail, all right? Is that all you, you delivered him? Was that $100 worth of crack? Yeah, this is right here. Just this bit right here? Okay. Yeah. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, can you give me a yard of that stuff? Uh. It's going to be about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm coming from the west side, so it's going to take me a minute to get over there. Yeah. Uh, just hit me back. Yeah, you where are you going to meet you? At a McDonald's? Uh, yeah. OK. I'm going to make him fat, all right? Yeah. All right, I'll call you in about 10 minutes when I get there. OK, we're headed to uh, Emerson and Phillips. We're going to meet with a guy named T. He's going to deliver uh, about $100 worth of crack cocaine. We already have a couple sale charges on him. He usually drives a uh, gold Cadillac, and um, he usually gives us a location where he wants to meet, and uh, normally he's pretty prompt about showing up when he says he's gonna be there. Yo, man, here he comes. He's coming up from my right. All right, it's a gold Cadillac. He's pulling in. He's gonna be facing. He's got a passenger South. Left. There's two people in the vehicle. He's on the uh, east side of uh, the UC hey, car. Right That's that good there, right there. Uh, oh, dang it. God dang it. I'm sorry, man. They didn't mean to drop that money. Hey, uh, look at this. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Car is still running. He's not put it in park yet. Somebody said something about a gun? Gun in the glove box. I got a gun in that center console. It's 38. Yeah, it's 38. I don't want to handle it too much till we get a picture of it. We're going to super glue the gun. We got some crack here, some marijuana. Here's a gun right here. Looks like it's a 38. Snub nose. It's got uh, two rounds in it. It's got a gun charge, dope charge. Resisting arrest without violence, fleeing and attempting to elude the police. These guys are going to get some time for this. Armed possession of crack cocaine. How much money did you get the guy? What'd you run for? I just seen ski masks. You seen ski masks? Did you see this police on everybody's shirt? Did you see the blue lights on the car? You see the blue lights on the car? Ski masks. 
Well, what are you running for? I might have a okay. You got a warrant, maybe? I might. I don't okay. Know. You been read your rights? You understand your rights? How old yes, are you? Sir. 20. 20? What's your name? Jake. Okay. Okay. You're under arrest. Do you understand that? Is that yours in the center console? No, sir. Who's it belong to? I have no idea. You have no idea? Is this your car? No, sir. And why are you driving? Yeah. Okay. You don't have any license. You don't have a license? license. Okay. Is that your gun in the car? No. Have you had your hands on it? You haven't touched it? Okay. All right. Well, so you just never know how these are going to go. You know, this is a dope business. You can lay all the plans in the world, and, and you know, it very seldom it goes the way you plan it. The guys did a good job. Nobody got hurt, minor damage to the cars. We can fix that. Um, everybody's safe. Let's get this paperwork done and move on to the next one. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get into 2514, 10 transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3. Oh, 
से सोच गलत गुमान कबीरा दिशीरा पाखले में तलबा माशाला भी सोमर का फेरे सर गैदर कर दीरा रखी बास्ताल दे दबार खुला कर रखी बास्ताल दे दबार खुला कर सिर सामीना बंद सर कुर्बान दाखल कुखले गंडम पादर नुनियम पक्के पक्के सबीना दुसन कल सिपाखी